One Piece Chapter 1093 titled Luffy vs. Kizaru. The cover page of Chapter 1093 features two Tarsier brothers who have stolen Kobe and Helmeppo's eyewear. Our chapter begins with Luffy laughing and giggling because he now has Kizaru in his hand. Kizaru's future sight probably shows him what's going to happen next because he starts fretting and tells Luffy to not get carried away. Luffy swings his arm like a helicopter and then throws Kizaru in the sky as hard as he can. <laughs> he laughs because obviously what could be more fun than hurling your opponent for fun? It works though. Now that Kizaru is away, the rest can make a run for it. Chopper asks Atlas where she is going and she explains that she is going down below to take control of the pacifistas. Otherwise, they will all be zapped by their lasers as soon as the barrier is down. Edison adds that this is the best idea, because for the moment, there's no higher authority here other than Vegapunk himself. Whoever controls the pacifistas wins. Vegapunk says that he'll go with her, but Usopp argues against it. After all, the entire reason they are in such a pickle is because the world government is after his life. But Vegapunk knows what he is doing. He calls Frankie and lets him know Bonnie is down below. Frankie is pleased to hear that. He got worried after Kazaru kicked her straight into the barrier. But how does a grown man like Frankie let a girl get kicked? Frankie says that he will go and help her, but there's still the barrier. And this is where Sanji takes over the transmitter. He says that if Bonnie needs to be rescued, he is here. Uh, and Jinbei then adds that they have secured Vegapunk's luggage. They should all meet up at the rear exit. Moving on, below at the Labo phase. The Marines are wary of Bonnie. They know she's lurking somewhere, and they need to watch out because she can instantly tweak their age. Well, that's what she does. She ages them out of proportion while hiding behind a destroyed wall. She can see Sentomaru lying on the ground. He has been burnt to a crisp. Now, how did Bonnie survive Kizaru's kick? In a quick flashback, we see that when she was falling down after hitting the barrier, Sentamaru caught her before she could hit the ground. He told her to run before the Marines got here and then collapsed. Back to the present, Bonnie continues hiding behind that broken wall. She wonders if she can simply stay hidden until all of this blows over. Meanwhile, at Labo phase, Luffy notices Zoro fighting Luchi. He laughs and asks if he wants any help. Of course, Zoro tells him to just focus on Kazaru as he overpowers Luchi. He then asks Luchi if this is the best he can do. If it's like this, he won't be getting a shot at fighting the captain. Luchi replies that even so, the number two of an emperor of the sea is still worth killing on his own. Their fight resumes while we see Kazaru heading towards the sea. He was going to fall in the ocean, and as you can expect, that is never good news for a devil fruit user. So he repositions himself mid-air and then uses Yasakani no Magatama. This is where he crosses his arms in front of him and uses both hands to fire a torrent of deadly light particles. And then, as Luffy watches in confusion, all of those light particles manifest in his own image. It's like shadow clones in Naruto, but they are all holographic. Luffy's eyeballs pop out in amazement. Kizaru then uses Ama no Murakumo and summons a sword of literal light. But the thing is, it's not just him. His clones do that too. Luffy attacks one of them with Gum Gum Damn Whip, but it turns out to be a hollow clone. He doesn't know which one's real, so he goes his goofy run, and just when all of them are following him in sequential motion, he turns around and attacks them all with Gum Gum Damn Stamp. But he does not hit the real Kizaru. He thought he tricked him, but it was Kizaru who actually tricked him. There's an explosion, so Luffy looks down to see what happened, and it's Kizaru holding Usopp by his face. Luffy freaks out. Kizaru, on the other hand, wonders wherever Vegapunk could be. Now, before Luffy could help Usopp, he notices something. It's a car. Vegapunk 8, to be more precise. Sanji is hanging on to it. He wants Vegapunk to let him in, too, but neither Vegapunk nor Atlas can hear him. Vegapunk is preoccupied with the thought of saving Bonnie. He says that the Marines better not touch her. He is coming to save Bonnie. In his words, he states that he won't leave that poor little child behind to die. When Luffy realizes it's Vegapunk, he freaks out once again. Since he is going away out in the open, Kizaru can easily kill him. Sure enough, Kizaru prepares to shoot him with one of his lasers. He was not going to let Vegapunk go where he is going, but Luffy wasn't going to let him fire Vegapunk either. 
He jumps in between the two of them and gets hit by the laser beam instead. Luffy yells, it burns! Yeah! The laser burns Luffy, but the Vegatank 8 and its passengers are safe. By the way, now it's not just Sanji who is latching onto it. Frankie is tagging along, too. He tells Lilith to use General Frankie to carry the ship while he tags along for the ride. Next, at the coast of Egghead. All of the Marines are reported that Vegapunk has come down from the Labo phase. At the same time, Edison partially deactivates the Frontier Dome, and this allows Atlas to make a proclamation. Attention, pacifistas! Vegapunk has new orders. She says this and then tells them all to wipe out the Marines. The pacifistas respond with their usual shing sound. That means they have accepted the new orders. And in the final panel of this chapter, we see St. J. Garsha Saturn with a visibly annoyed expression on his face. That's all for Chapter 1093. From what we have seen so far of the Luffy versus Kizaru fight, it'll likely end in a draw. Egghead isn't supposed to be a super long arc. The Marines will have to retreat and will then transition to the Elbaf arc. Though, what do you guys think will happen next? And what do you think of this chapter? Also, what happened to the giant robot who woke up in the previous chapter? Let's continue this discussion in the comments section down below. Press. Like if you enjoyed the video. And if you don't want to miss out on future One Piece chapter reviews like this one as well as other intelligent One Piece content, definitely subscribe and hit that bell icon. One Piece has been phenomenal these past few months. And if Luffy can defeat an admiral on screen, that will be golden.